happening now, US may bring North Korea to its knees in a matter of hours. North Korea keeps making dire threats, and America really needs to pay attention. One of the most recent threats definitely put the US military on high alert, and everyone is aware of the extreme instability of North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. Unfortunately, there's just no predicting the behavior of unstable individuals. In response to North Korea's continued threats and insults, the Donald Trump administration issued a plain ultimatum, which unsurprisingly didn't go over well. North Korea doesn't respond to ultimatums. Well, they do, but only with more threats of force. Now, with tensions rising, it seems the US is prepared to launch a preemptive strike that could bring North Korea to its knees. The attack will come if officials believe Kim Jong-un is about to test his nuclear weapons. Via Western Journalism NBC News reported multiple senior intelligence officials confirmed the U.S. plans. North Korea has warned a big event is near, which officials believe could either be the test of a long-range ballistic missile or the detonation of a nuclear weapon. Saturday marks the Day of the Sun celebration in North Korea commemorating the birth of the nation's founder Kim Il-sung, which would be a likely time for the regime to conduct either. The Wall Street Journal revealed Tuesday that activity appears to be taking place at a North Korean nuclear test site, indicative of the rogue regime preparing to detonate a nuclear device. Currently, the American Navy has two destroyers capable of launching Tomahawk cruise missiles, similar to the ones the U.S. tossed at Syria last week. And when North Korea said they would hold the U.S. wholly accountable for the catastrophic consequences if America hits North Korea, that was the time Trump and his team took action. They're also concerned about Kim Jong-un launching a sudden strike against South Korea, one of America's allies. Once again, however, we have the problem of unpredictability, there's just no knowing what those red crazies are going to do. Shades of the Cold War, no doubt. We just have to hope and pray that things work out and if North Korea takes the wrong step, the US halts them in their tracks. Their tracks. Mike Pence makes impromptu visit to DMZ, warns North Korea not to test the US. Vice President Mike Pence made an unexpected and impromptu visit to Camp Boniface, a joint US and South Korean base located along the demilitarized zone that separates North and South Korea on Monday. North Korea a perennial agent of unrest, attempted to show their strength Sunday with an unsuccessful missile test. This morning's provocation from the North is just the latest reminder of the risks each one of you face each and every day in the defense of the freedom of the people of South Korea and the defense of America in this part of the world, Pence said during an Easter dinner shared with soldiers on Sunday. On Monday, turning his attention to the North, he warned South Korea's counterpart not to test the strength of our military forces. Speaking in Seoul, the vice president said, We will defeat any attack and we will meet any use of conventional or nuclear weapons with an overwhelming and effective response. The LL options are on the table, Pence added. Trump's administration has shifted its attention toward North Korea in the past week. Over the weekend, the president stated that he is working on the North Korea problem. Trump's national security adviser H. R. McMaster stated that the president's recent decision to order missile strikes against Bashar al-Assad in Syria shows that he is clearly comfortable making tough decisions. But regarding North Korea, McMaster preached caution, saying it's time for us to undertake all actions we can, short of a military option, to try to resolve this peacefully. Pence's stop in Korea is the first on his 10-day trip throughout Asia. While tensions are flaring with North Korea, they have recently cooled with China. Trump hosted President Xi Jinping at Mar-a-Lago earlier this month. Last Tuesday, he announced that he had leveraged a trade agreement in exchange for diplomacy. I explained to the president of China that a trade deal with the U.S. will be far better for them if they solve the North Korea problem, Trump tweeted. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below, below. Breaking, Chinese and Russian subs reportedly following USS Carl Vinson Now that the USS Carl Vinson is getting near the coast of the Korean peninsula, 
it's picked up some very undesirable followers. The Japan News reported Sunday that two intelligence gathering vessels from both Russia and China have been dispatched to follow the Carl Vinson's carrier strike group. A Japanese official told the Japan News parent publication, the Yomi Uri Shimbun, that it appears the two nations are looking to probe the actions of the carrier strike group as it arrives off the coast of troubled North Korea. The news came after reports of a failed missile launch the day after North Korea's Day of the Sun, a celebration of the birthday of North Korean founder Kim Il-sung, according to CNN. The New York Times has warned that North Korea's nuclear sites also appear primed for a nuclear weapons test. That test, if it occurred, would be the sixth from the pariah nuclear state. While many speculated that the Day of the Sun would be the ideal time for such a test to take place, North Korea will also be celebrating the 85th anniversary of its military's foundation later this month, such an event would also provide another occasion for the Kim regime to conduct such a test. The Trump administration has promised a hardline on North Korea's recent spate of missile tests. In an interview with Fox Business Network's Maria Bartiromo, President Donald Trump said that the Carl Vinson's deployment to the region was just the beginning. We are sending an armada, very powerful. We have submarines, very powerful, far more powerful than the aircraft carrier, Trump said. We have the best military people on Earth. And I will say this. He is doing the wrong thing. While neither China nor Russia are necessarily allies of Kim Jong un's regime, both have prioritized stability when dealing with North Korea. However, President Trump and his administration have made it clear that American relations with China would hinge in part on its ability to exert pressure on North Korea to stop weapons testing. After Trump's meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping, it looked as if his administration might have been making headway in that department. Sunday's news suggests that we still have a long way to go. HD Salt Lake Tribune Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on this story. What are your thoughts on this story? Scroll down to comment below. McMaster says Trump vows to take action against North Korean threats. In an appearance on ABC News this week on Sunday, National Security Advisor Lt. Gen. H.R. McMaster said that while the Trump administration wasn't going to publicly say how they planned to deal with Kim Jong-un's regime, he promised the president was prepared to act in the best interest of the American people if needed. McMaster's comments came one day after a failed missile test by North Korea on the Day of the Sun celebration, CNN reported. T. His latest missile test it just fits into a pattern of provocative and destabilizing and threatening behavior on the part of the North Korean regime, McMaster told host Martha Raddance. And I think there's an international consensus now, including the Chinese and the Chinese leadership that this is a situation that just can't continue, he added. And the president has made clear that he will not accept the United States and its allies and partners in the region being under threat from this hostile regime with nuclear weapons. McMaster said that we're working together with our allies and partners, and with the Chinese leadership, to develop a range of options. And the president has asked the National Security Council to integrate the efforts of the Department of Defense, State, our intelligence agencies, so we can provide options and have them ready for him if this pattern of destabilizing behavior continues, and if the North Korea regime refuses to denuclearize which is the accepted objective of both the United States and Chinese leadership, as well our allies in the region. Even if the military launch failed, McMaster said, the military parades that took place on the Day of the Sun, which celebrates the birthday of North Korean founder Kim Il-sung, were still a major provocation on the part of the North Koreans. The National Security Advisor also said that even if some of the weapons on display at the parade were fake, something which, According to the UK Daily Mail, many experts believed that the purpose of that parade is to sort of demonstrate military prowess in a threatening way. He also noted that the Trump administration was not going to advertise how it planned to deal with Kim's regime. The president has made very clear that he is not in the business of announcing in advance exactly what he's going to do in any particular situation, McMaster said. And I think what you saw last week with the president's decisive response to the Assad regime, 
that this national security team is capable of rapidly responding to those sorts of crises or incidents and events and providing the president with options. And our president is clearly comfortable making tough decisions and respond. They may have to make tough decisions and respond sooner rather than later. McMaster noted during his appearance that the missile test fizzled and that's why the Trump administration chose to just downplay it. However, the New York Times reported that activity at a North Korean nuclear test site means they may be about to test another atomic weapon. That would be very difficult to downplay. H.T. Briant Bart Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on McMaster's remarks. How do you think the Trump administration should handle North Korea? Scroll down to comment below, t below, after Mike Pence walked up to the North Korean border, watch all hell break loose. Mike Pence just did what no president or vice president has ever done. While visiting the North Korean border, he broke protocol and walked all the way up to the border. As you'll see in the video, he was told to stay inside but he wanted to go out and face down the North Korean troops face to face. The North Korean troops walked up to him and started taking pictures, presumably to show Kim Jong-un. Watch this then share on Facebook if you stand with President Trump. This comes just days after North Korea threatened to nuke the United States. Mike Pence also gave a speech this morning and issued this dire warning to North Korea. He said, the era of strategic patience is over. Share 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 on Facebook if you stand with President Trump and Mike Pence. Pence. Last night Kim Jong-un held a parade and immediately everyone noticed one thing wrong with him. Kim Jong-un saluted thousands of soldiers at Kim Il-sung Square during his regular day of the sun celebration. Kim Jong-un at least appears to have ICBMs. People also noticed that Kim didn't speak to the gathering. Is it because it was a body double? One top member of the North Korea Socialist Party said that they would beat down enemies with the power of nuclear justice. If the United States wages reckless provocation against us, our revolutionary power will instantly counter with annihilation.